Hi, welcome to Ask AD. Now this week I'm going to be talking to you about something completely different. So there's this new craze going around and I'm probably a little bit late on the pickup but I've wanted to try it for a while and that's paddle boarding. And so I decided to invest some money and go and get myself one. Now I've been thinking about trying the new paddle boarding craze for a while and after doing some research and watching a few videos on YouTube I decided to invest and buy my first board. Now there's so many different models on the market, it's difficult to know which one to choose from. If I was going to go out paddle boarding, I want to be taking my dog Wolfie, if she loves the water and I'm thinking, yeah, maybe, maybe I could teach her to do it as well. So that would be quite cool. So I'd need something that not only was stable and big enough for me and the dog, but also something that um, I could easily transport around. So I didn't want a fixed board, I knew that. I wanted something that was inflatable. I wanted something that was going to be good because I'm a beginner, so I've not done any paddle boarding before. I've had no training. So taking a trip to the Lake District with my new iRocker Cruiser 10.6 was going to be quite an experience. So one of the considerations was my weight. So I'm 88 kilos. My dog is about 35 kilos. Um, and the iRocker Cruiser will take up to about 189 kilos. Also, I was thinking there's quite a, a difference in price between different brands. Um, but I did want something that was going to last, something that was going to be durable against um, rocks, um, something that's going to be dur durable against Wolfie's claws as well, was a, was a big consideration. Although she does do a lot of walking and her claws are quite short. Um, you know, if a dog is trying to get out of the water onto a board, which she was, then I'd want something that was going to be able to withstand that. I don't want to be out in the middle of a lake or in the middle of a river or at sea and then all of a sudden the dog jumps on and bursts the board. I'm going to be in big trouble. <laughs> so it's, it was definitely something I needed to consider. So the guys at iRock are telling me, yeah, no problem at all. Uh, their board is far superior. The, 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 what it is made from is extremely strong and it, there will be no problem at all with Wolfie's claws. <laughs> so I contacted my friend who owns Oastbridge Hotel um, it's in the Lake District, right in the natural park, um, and it's right on the edge of the lake as well, which is fantastic. So the car park is right over the road from the lake. I can literally blow up my paddleboard, walk 100 yards, and I can put the board straight in the lake, and I'll be off. So when we got to the hotel, um, I took all the components out, and I'd also got this electronic pump as well, so, which was brilliant. So I plugged the, pump, plugged the pump into the car, went into the 12 volt auxiliary um, connector inside the car and on there it's got an auto pressure button so I just selected um, 14 psi because the, the cruiser board is, is rated to 14 to 15 so I thought I'll put it to 14 psi, press the auto button, it pumped up, as soon as it hit 14 it shut off, unplugged the pump, screwed in the, the, the bung over the top there to stop any water. And immediately I could see when this board was inflated, the quality of the board, the finish is absolutely fantastic. You can see that they've got superior components, how they've, they've constructed it. My friend Ben there had his paddle board that he's had a few years and the, the difference between the boards was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the front and back, we've got um, the elastic straps. So you can put in there, I put my like waterproof shoes in there. I also like it was it was handy to be able to just put my paddle in there as well. It's got a carbon fiber paddle, um, which is adjustable. So I set that just about sort of a, a a couple of foot above my head in height, which would allow me allow me to have like um, the right sort of height for for the stroke um, while I was out on the board in the water. Also on the board, which was amazing as well, is two screw fittings on there. Now you can put on there um, your GoPro camera if you want to video yourself out. Um, out and about on the on the water or also I rock also do a cup holder as well Which is ideal for a coffee or a beer if you want to uh, take a beer out on the lake with you as well So there I am. I'm all set. I'm ready to go and Wolfie is playing around with Viv on, on the water's edge and I take the board out and now first thing I notice bearing in mind I've not done any paddling uh, paddle boarding at all is I, I take the water the board out to about knee height uh, water because I don't want to uh, damage the fins. The fins actually are clip in as well so they'll just pop out if you knock them but so I'll, I'll walk it out about knee height in the water, kneel onto the board either side of the handle 
and immediately I can see that this board is, is so stable. Um, it, it's got a, a good a thickness that to keep you above the water. It's 10 foot six in length. You know, that's, a, that's about three odd meters. So it's, it's a good, good size board. As soon as I'm on it, there's hardly any movement at all. And I almost feel confident that I want to stand up straight away. And so I give it a go. I stand each side of the, of the, the handle and I'm away. Now I'm used to using a paddle anyway because I've done kayaking so I can understand the control, uh, how to, to control the, the paddle board uh, and yeah and have a few goes up and down. Um, I'm, the wind has picked up slightly at this point and there is a little bit of a uh, swell coming back into the shore and all the sailing boats are out in front of me so you can see it's like it's a lovely backdrop. Um, so I turn the board head on into the swell and that immediately makes me feel a lot more stable go out and I do a couple of lengths only to turn around to see Wolfie is now swimming out towards me to see what I'm doing. So as she gets towards me, um, she's got her harness on, she puts both feet onto the front of the board and I lift her on. She immediately decides to shake all the water off her and soak me. So the water, so now I'm absolutely soaking and that's from nothing to do with me falling in the water. Um, I settle her down and she sits on the front, feels quite at home, and we start doing a little bit of paddling until she sees her friend Rocky, another German shepherd, who's now playing on the river bank on the edge of the lake and running up and down, chasing sticks. As we start to get a little bit closer, she decides, without warning, she's off. She goes, dives in the water after Rocky, and I follow her quickly after, which is quite a comical moment. Uh, the lake water was actually lovely, so it was nice. It woke me up a bit, but soon got back on the board. Easy to climb back on the board from the water as well. Didn't feel the bike the board was going to tip over, so stability-wise, the board was for mounting the board, the, the board again in the water was, was great. Um, yeah, and that's it. So I took the board back after a few more goes. Uh, in the afternoon, we took it out again. I had another go, and some of the kids had a, had a go on the board. They loved it. Um, the quality, like I say, is, is, is fantastic. The guys at iRock really have done a great job putting this board together. Now, I know it's not the cheapest board, but if you want to buy something that is going to last you, that you're going to get the wear out of them, then just spend that just a little bit more. Uh, and, and I would definitely recommend buying the um, upgrade of the electric pump as well. I mean, it made such a difference. I know what it's like blowing up an inflatable kayak. Uh, but blowing up a paddle board to, to 14, 15 PSI is quite a bit of work, especially you've got the, the draw up and the down as well. So, so I'm absolutely over the moon with my new paddle board. I'm going to be taking it across to Spain in September and then we're going to be trying it out in the sea. Down there they've got a uh, yoga club as well, which I do first thing in the morning. So we'll probably be picking up another iRock board in the next month or so, ready to take them both over to Spain. And then we'll be taking Wolfie as well. So keep uh, posted we'll be putting some new videos out around September October of us down there um, and having fun on the beach okay so uh, if you're looking for a paddle board then I can highly recommend the paddle boards from the guys at iRocker and I'll leave some links below so if you guys want to pick anything up they are affiliate links they do help me create content and um, I hope that this video helps you make an informed choice about what board you're going to try